Hello and welcome back to Alpha Plays. And welcome back to God of War, the Norse mythology one. <laughs> um It's getting colder. We must be near the top. Yeah. Not long now, Mom. Yeah. Your quiver. Strap broke when we fought the dragon. It's all right. I can hold it. Stop. The broken quiver will slow your draw. Pain we endure. Faulty weaponry we do not. This will do for now. Good. Good. Hmm. Go. Steady, boy. Mind your footing. Oh. We haven't really run into any gods yet, except, I guess, uh, that Vanier and, and Balder. I don't remember the original series being this scars about interaction with gods. Ow. Okay, enough. Fucking hell. More of them. Yes! Crit! Done. What is this? Mom called me. Can't burn it, can't cut it. Hidden man, distant voice. There must be somewhere. God damn it. Oh, here. You hear those voices too, right? Yes. Be silent. Sounds like the same man who came to our house. You said you killed him. Shh. He's brought company this time. Must be important. Mima. The sons of Thor deigned to grace me with their presence. Tell me, you two still tripping over yourselves to impress Daddy? The tattooed man. Tracks show he now travels with a child. Where would they go next? Why would I know that? You were the smartest man alive, aren't you? Smarter than all the dead ones, too. 
You help me, I help you. Tell me where they are, and I'll talk to Odin. Your father won't let me go, Baldur, and he won't let you kill me. You have nothing to offer me, so take your questions, take your threats, take these two worthless wankers, and piss off! When no one's looking, we'll be back for your other eye. Don't you forget, we're everywhere. We really are, aren't we? Okay. Why would Mima be fighting Odin and those guys? Mima cut off his head so he couldn't uh no only cut off Mima's head so he couldn't uh give advice to the enemy. Ah, the very topic of conversation. A tattooed man traveling with a child. We took their path, make sure we're alone. But we just saw them leave. Do as I say. He doesn't know what you are. And I would keep it that way. Who are you? Me? I'm the greatest ambassador to thy gods, the giants, and all the creatures of the Why does he only have one eye? I know every corner of these lands, every language spoken, every war waged, every deal struck. They call me Mimir, smartest man alive. And I have the answer to your every question. Why does the son of Odin hunt us? Okay, there are a few gaps in my knowledge. But Odin's had me in prison here for 109 winters. I'm a clever lad. I can piece it together. I promise. Just given time. Nobody there, just like I said. The boy's mother is dead. She wished her. She wanted us to spread her ashes on the highest peak in all the realms. Oh, then you've come to the wrong place, little brother. The highest peak in all the realms is not here in Midgard. It's in Jotunheim, realm of the giants. No! That could not be what she meant. Take a look. This is the last known bridge to Jotunheim in all the realms. See that mountain? Looks like a giant's finger scraping the sky. That's the highest peak in all the realms. No here. Can't we just take that bridge? We have a Bifrost. When the giants destroyed all other bridges to their realm, they locked this one up with a secret rune. If it still exists, only a giant would know it. And all of them left Midgard a long time ago. True. But today, the winds of fate have kicked up a strange vortex of coincidence. Fact is, there's only one person alive who can get you where you need to go. And luckily for you, my schedule's wide open. We're going to Jotunheim, right? It's your best and only move from a tactical standpoint. It's the one place the man who cannot be killed won't follow you. What do we do? Yes! First, you need to cut off my head. Wait, what? And Odin made sure that no weapon, not even Thor's hammer, could free my body from these bonds. But fortunately, you don't need my body. The trick is, we need to find someone who can reanimate my head using the old magic. Old magic? Mm. There's a witch of the woods. She knows the old ways. And she'll help. She might do worth a try. But if she fails, you will be dead. He tortures me, you know. Every day, brother. Odin himself sees to it personally, and believe me, there is no end to his creativity. Every single day. This. This isn't living. This is a very strange version of Mimir. Oh, I can't watch this. Brother. In case you can't resurrect me, there's something you need to know. The boy 
The longer you wait to tell him his true nature, the more damage you do. He will resent you, and you may lose him forever. There is much about me I would not have him know. Huh? So you value your privacy more than your son? I'm going to cut off your head now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cut off your head now. Sure. <laughs> that is not how Mimia works, but you know what? At this point, who gives a shit? I'm sorry, but inconvenient. Yeah, that's just what I was going to say. First off, Mimir does have more than one eye. This looks like those weird doors we've seen. I guess Mimir will help us figure it all out. If we can bring him back to life. Oh, hey, look. Soon we'll be able to translate those moose behind runes. Good. So Mimir in the stories, I guess I might as well say that. Mimir in the stories uh, was the leader of a well, or had a well, uh, which was the well of knowledge, or the well, well of wisdom, yes. actually. The woods with the blood and, uh, south of the lake. I know just where to go. And Odin wanted to drink from the well, because in, in his younger days he was nice. very, very keen to learn. So he goes to the, to the well. Uh, since Mimir is known as the wildest man in the world, and um, he he asks Mimir, oh, "What do I have to do to drink the well?" Mimir says, eh, "You can't really give me anything I want." So uh, Odin he says, "Like yeah, sure," and he goes, "Okay, you know what? Pop out your eye, put it in the well, and uh, I will let you drink from the well of knowledge." Chip top cheerio. He does that, he pops out his eye, and puts in the well, drinks from the well, and he knows all. Uh, and for the eye that cannot, he, he doesn't have anymore, he gets the ravens, Hugin and Moonin. Hugin and Moonin, Moonin who spies on all the world, and... Uh, and tells him all that he that they see, so he can see all. And he also has a wolf on each side of his throne. I've got the names of <laughs> who hears all, and also whispers to Odin what they hear. That's really cool. Uh, Mimir was given to the Vanir. As a uh, as a war thing, because like uh, in order to in order to broke peace, they uh, what's it called? They 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 gave, each side gave war prisoners of war, and of course I've already mentioned that Fry and Fire and their father um, joined the Asia and. Uh, Mimir and one guy more joined the Vanir, and uh, Mimir would would know all. Uh, he was so smart that uh, you know he he we, they would cut off his head, and uh, uh, one of the. Uh, one of the other, the other god who was there, I forgot his name, <laughs> would like tell the stories, uh, tell, answer any question that that uh, uh, that that Devania would ask him. And Devania thought like, oh, he's so wise, he knows all. But in reality, all he did was resurrect Mimia's head so it was alive, and then ask it whenever someone asked him a question. <laughs> That's why Mimir's most well-known form is a talking head. Um, 
What the fuck is going on here? I don't know. I don't know why Odin would hate Mimir. That's just a bit strange. Alright. Look at this place. This must be a branch of the world tree. Boy, stay on the path. Yes. One of Odin's sons, Thor's brother. And now he's hunting us with his nephews. Why is this happening? If we can raise the head, you can ask him. Okay. You know, it's silly, but I secretly hope we find a giant somewhere in that mountain. I guess they really did leave Midgard, except for the serpent. Maybe the last of his kind. Are you the last of your kind, too? Is that why you don't like to talk about my the... kind? I mean, your family. Before mother and I, where you came from, mother, a father. Now is not the time for that. Yes, sir. What is this? We jump. Really? Dad, really, Kratos? Let's see what happens. You will want not to stray from the path. Oh, restart from checkpoint. Okay. So that kills us. Okay, fine. Fucking break! Don't hear me screeching at you whenever you're twiddling your short and curlies. Leave him, boy. No fat. Well, you already soiled my solitude, so you may as well join me. You're not hungry. Good. It's not what I was offering. Saw your brother again. Congratulations. And I'm sure you'll let him go and roger my axe good and plenty again. Hmm? Let's see the damage. Mm, little canker throat wouldn't know proper weight and balance if it were dangling off his chut. Hmm. He eating well enough? I guess. Good. All better. Now what the fuck else you want, huh? Times he gets so wrapped up in his work, Sentry has it the sense to sip or sup. And if he does remember, good luck getting him to cook his own meat. Guess I got all the stomach in the family. <laughs> Along with the smarts. You miss him. What, that spit fister? What do you know? I just mean hey, that... Do you mind trying to concentrate here? Already on a break from my break. I mean, is that what you're saying? Always a pleasure. Now fuck right along. <laughs> you scare up that alchemist what needed finding? Let's see. Boy, what is the path back to the witch? First, we need to find a boat. Oh, yeah. Do you I'm on a boat. From here? That way, behind the big statue of Thor. Ironically, behind no the big statue of Thor. What kind of story? I don't know. Mother always had stories. Weren't you told me when you were a boy? But set that aside. We must proceed on foot. Can we finish later? Perhaps. Hmm. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I keep... I keep leaving the boat. I keep leaving the boat when I'm not supposed to leave the boat. What happened here? Shipwreck. Well, yeah. I wonder why it crashed. So, could you think of any stories to tell? There was a man I knew of long ago. His stories were brief and purposeful. Sounds fun. Do you remember any? There was one that concerned a hare and a tortoise. Like the witch's house? Unlikely. So what happens? They wager on a race between them. The hare is too confident of victory and foolish, while the tortoise is steady and disciplined. The tortoise wins. You haven't told a lot of stories, have you? Not really, no. <laughs> It's weird because he's already a parent. Like, he had a kid before. I wonder what kind of dad he was to the girl. There we go. I can't read these either. But they're different from the others. Oh, shithead. What is that symbol? Most. If we could just find the other pieces of the language disk. What is this? I don't think so. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Again, I failed to do the right thing. <laughs> Alright, let's go back down. Time for another story? Huh. A short one. There was a horse. The horse sought vengeance upon his enemy, a stag. But he could not kill the stag alone. The horse met a man, a hunter, and made a deal. He took the man's bit and bridle and allowed him to ride in a saddle on his back. Together, they killed the stag, and the horse tasted victory. 
But the hunter would not release the horse, and made a slave of him. So getting revenge cost him his freedom. Hope it was worth it. It was not. What is this place? Isle of Death. Oh, what a pleasant name. is built with wood. That is a brazier. A brazier. Hmm. Looks like there's something written on it. Want me to read it? Sure. Gvegia. Did he just call me a fool? That sounded like fight. I think I'm getting better at this. Well fought, you two. What is that? A spirit. It's talking to us. And it hears you as well. Don't be shy now. You're dead? <laughs> You're very perceptive, and reckless. Take caution when lighting these braziers. Sather and Hellwalkers will swarm to the flames like moths. I assume we have you to thank for freeing us from a watery grave. Us? Other spirits. The Lake of Nine is full of them. Most are able to move on from this realm. But we, lucky few, are stuck here in Midgard until our affairs are in order. Perhaps you can help them as well. We have no desire to help you, spirit. Ah, but you already have. I only wished to see the sky again. Farewell. Versatile warrior's handle. Huh. Sure. Thanks, man. He's a very nice ghost. Okay. Well, if I guess watching this episode of Hunger Place, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good next time for more shenanigans. Until then, bye.